Let's investigate De Morgan's laws, a simple but important concept that comes up frequently in set theory, logic, computer science, and probability. We'll look at De Morgan's laws in the context of basic probability. Here are De Morgan's laws. We'll verify these laws using Venn diagrams, then work through an example. De Morgan's first law states that the complement of the union is equal to the intersection of the complements. In other words, the event neither A nor B is the same as not A and not B. De Morgan's second law states that the complement of the intersection is equal to the union of the complements. In other words, that not, both A and B, is the same as not A or not B. Let's illustrate De Morgan's laws using Venn diagrams. Here's De Morgan's first law, and let's first look at the left-hand side. The union of A and B is everything that is in either A or B, or both, represented by this green region. The complement of the union is everything outside of those two circles. Now let's look at the right-hand side. A complement is everything outside of A, and B complement is everything outside of B. Their intersection is the region that is in both A complement and B complement, the region that is green in both of these two plots. So the intersection of A complement and B complement is the region outside of the two circles. But these two regions are the same, and that's what De Morgan's first law tells us. Here's De Morgan's second law. Let's again start with the left-hand side. The intersection of A and B is the region that is in both A and B, represented by this green region. The complement of the intersection is everything outside of that intersection, this green region. Now let's look at the right-hand side. Once again, A complement is everything outside of A, and B complement is everything outside of B. The union of these two events is the region that is in either A complement or B complement, or both, the region that is green in either one of these two plots. So the union of A complement and B complement is the entire region outside of the intersection of A and B. The only region that is not in either A complement or B complement is the intersection of A and B. So that's the visual representation of the right-hand side. These two regions are the same, and that's what De Morgan's second law tells us. Now let's look at De Morgan's laws in the context of a probability problem. Suppose you are about to interview for two jobs. You have two different interviews. Let's call them something stimulating, like job A and job B. Let event A be the event that you get offered job A, and event B be the event that you get offered job B. And suppose, for the purpose of illustration, that the probability you get offered job A is 0.2, the probability you get offered job B is 0.6, and the probability you get offered both jobs is 0.15. It can be helpful to fill out a Venn diagram with these probabilities. Here, the intersection has a probability of 0.15. The probability of A in its entirety is 0.2, so the probability of this green region, representing A but not B, is 0.05. The probability of this green region, B but not A, must be 0.45. And by the addition rule, or simply by adding up these three probabilities, the probability of the union of A and B is 0.65. The probability of the region outside the circles, the complement of the union, is 0.35, since the probabilities must add to 1. Suppose we are interested in this question. What is the probability that you get offered neither job? We might think of this in two slightly different ways. One, the complement of the union, is the event that you do not get job A or job B. The intersection of the complements is the event that you do not get job A and you do not get job B. A slightly different perspective, but they mean the same thing. You don't end up with a job. That event is represented by the region outside of the circles, this green region. And if they're the same region, they have the same probability of occurring. And that probability, by inspection of the Venn diagram, is 0.35. There's a 0.35 probability that you end up with neither job. 
What is the probability that you don't get two job offers? We can write that in these two ways. The left-hand side is the event that you do not get both job A and job B. You do not get two job offers. The right-hand side is the event that you do not get job A or you do not get job B. The left-hand side and the right-hand side are both this green region, where you do not get two job offers. The only region left out is the intersection of A and B, where you do get two job offers. These two regions are the same, so the probability of these two regions is the same, and that probability is 1 minus 0.15 or 0.85. We've spent some time illustrating De Morgan's laws through Venn diagrams and a basic probability example. Now let's look at an example of how De Morgan's laws might help us make a probability calculation easier. Here's a straightforward probability question, where the probability of event A is 0.6, the probability of event B is 0.4, and the probability of their union is 0.9. Suppose we need to find the probability of the intersection of A complement and B complement. If we don't know De Morgan's laws or can't work it out ourselves with a Venn diagram, we're going to find this problem difficult. We might think to use the multiplication rule, but that doesn't make the problem any easier and isn't going to get us very far. This question is very straightforward, however, if we know De Morgan's laws or can derive them ourselves, and we can recognize that the intersection of the complements is the complement of the union. So the probability we are looking for is 1 minus the probability of the union of events A and B, and that works out to point 0.1. De Morgan's laws can be very helpful in some probability calculations, and also in the mathematical proof of some probability concepts. Here's a recap of De Morgan's laws for two events, but they are in fact more general than this. The fact that the complement of the union is equal to the intersection of the complements holds for any number of events as does the fact that the complement of the intersection is equal to the union of the complements. These notions hold for any number of events, but the two-event case is what comes up most often.